Good day everyone, welcome back today to my channel. Today we are going to talk about this topic called ratio. Um, before we discuss V3 about ratio, please click the subscribe button below and also on the notification button to see us more in the next video. Now today let's talk about this ratio. When we talk about ratio, ratio is a quantity relation of amount of two items. A quantity relation of amount of two items. And when you talk about ratio again, ratio can be defined as what is used to measure two quantity of something. What is used to measure two quantity of something. That is ratio for you. Example, when you talk about two oranges is to one orange, it becomes a ratio. When you talk about five mangoes is to two oranges, it becomes a ratio. When you talk about ten men is to five women, it becomes a ratio. We have used a ratio to measure a man and men and women. Now, that's about ratio. There is another aspect of ratio I would like to discuss more. And there asp another aspect of ratio I'm trying to discuss. Sometimes ratio can be used as a fraction. Ratio can be used as a fraction. And also ratio can be used to share things between two peoples. That is another work of ratio. It can be used to share things between two persons. That's another work of ratio. Now, let me show you, let me give you a question about ratio, when you can use it to measure two items. Now, for the about this question, I remember I told you that ratio is used to compare two numbers, to measure two numbers. Ratio, that is the main work of ratio, to measure two numbers. Now, looking at this question on the board, it says, in the board, there are eight women and 12 men. Find the ratio in its simplest form of the numbers men to women men to women now first of all what's the number of men in this question the number of men in this question we have 12 men and the number of women there we have eight women now when you are talking about the ratio of men to women it becomes 12 over 8 now when you divide you have something like Four, four years, four divided to so you're going to they give you three, four years is going to give you two, which automatically will give us three is to two. That is, it measures or it compares the quantity of men and the quantity of women in this question. That is what ratio is talking about. Now, when you come about using ratio to share things between two persons or between two people or between two communities. Now, I'll give you a question on that. How can we use ratio to share things between two people? Now, coming over to using ratio to share things between two persons. Now, I have a question here. Share 16 naira in the ratio of 2 is to 3. In the ratio of 2 is to 3. Now, for me to share, I'm assuming that I'm sharing this thing between two persons. I'll call this one A and I'll call here B. So I'm sharing this 16 naira between two, these two persons. For me to share this thing, the first thing I need to find, I'll find the aggregate ratio or the total ratio. And when you are looking for the aggregate ratio, it's equals to these two plus three, which will give us five. Five is the aggregate ratio. Now for me to find the share of two, it's going to be two over five times 60 over one, which is the total. That is the sum. Now five into itself, one, into five into six uh, into year two now two times twelve is going to give you twenty four naira now two we get twenty four and what we three get now I'm going to still make use of this or I will do sixty minus twenty four to get this or I will do three over five times sixty over one five year one into year is going to give you twelve three times two will give you thirty six naira now in this question, he's trying to tell us that 2 is equal to 24 and 3 is equal to 36. Meaning that I've shared it in such a way that 2 we get 24 and 3 we get 36 naira. That is about using ratio to share. Now I'm going to give you another similar question to this that we are going to see. That in this question, we have two friends, Andrew and Anne. And Anne agrees to share a gift of 485 packets of biscuits in the ratio of 2 is to 3 representative. How many packets of biscuits does each receive? 
does each receive? Now we are going to still use this ratio to solve this particular question. Now, what are we going to do here? First of all, we write out Andrew is to Anne. Now, Andrew has the share of two and Anne has the share of three. Now, what else are we going to do? We look for the aggregate ratio or the total ratio, which is two plus three, we give us five. Now, the aggregate ratio in this question is five. Now, how are we going to find Andrew's share? What is the total biscuit? The total biscuit we are looking for is 185 total biscuit. Now, how do we solve for Andrew? It becomes, that is Andrew's share over the total ratio times the total, which is 185 over 1. Now, what can divide the F5? 5 divide itself, 1. 5 into 8 is going to give you 3. 3. Remember, 3 into 35 is going to give you 7. Now, 2 times 37. When 2 times 37 is going to give us, that should be 74. Now, Andrew got 74 biscuits. Andrew got 74 biscuits. What is Anne's share? Now, for you not to go this long process up and down, what you are going to do, you just subtract 185 minus 74. 185 minus 74. So automatically it's going to give us that should be 1, 1, 1, 111 biscuits. That should be Anne's share. Showing that Andrew will get 74, and Anne will get 111 biscuits. Now, this is how to use ratio to share between peoples. Now, I'm going to talk about equal ratio. Let's talk about equal ratio. When you talk about equal ratio, I'll give you an example on the board. You talk about... 1 is to 2 is equal to 2 is to 4. This is equal ratio. That, that is the reason sometimes we change it to fraction, which is 1 over 2 is equal to 2 over 4. Meaning that this and this will be equal in this ratio, and this and this will be equal in this ratio when solving. Now, this one, you reduce it to the lowest term, it becomes this one. And this one, when you multiply it by 2, it becomes this one. I'll give you another example. Example. 1 over, okay, 1 is to 3 is equals to 3 is to 9. That is the same thing of 1 over 3 is equals to 3 over 9. Showing us that this and this is equal in this ratio. And this and this is equal in this ratio. That is what we talk about equal ratio. I'm going to give you an example. I have this question on the board. There are 50 boys in a class. If the ratio of girls to boys is 3 is to 2, how many girls are there in the class? Now, looking at this question, now, we are looking for the numbers of girls. Already, they have given us the numbers of boys, and we are looking for the number of girls. Now, is the same thing as telling us boys, okay, girls is to boys, sorry, girls to boy. And they gave us a ratio of three is to two. And now, in this question already, they have given us 50 boys. And now, they have told us that we have 50 boys here. Now, we, here is question mark or why? Because we don't know how many girls that are here. We need to find it. That's when you are going to turn it to fraction, which is 3 over 2 is equal to y over 50. Yes, 3 over 2 is equal to y over 50. Because the 3 girls are equal to nothing because we don't know. And 2 is equal to 50. The next thing we cross multiply. When we cross multiply, it becomes 2y is equal to 50 times 3. And when this one crosses the sign of equality, it changes the division. Therefore, y is equal to 50 times 3 divided by 2. 2 into itself, 1 into here, 25. 25 times 3 will give us 75. Now, the total number of girls in this question is 75 girls. Now, as we are going to use the ratio to find it. Using the ratio to get this, is this thing is just an equal ratio. This is just what? Equal ratio. We make use of it steady in our classes. Now, click the follow button, click the like button, click any button that will make you to see us in the next video. See you next time.